Sagittarius. Welcome to your October 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. So what is the central theme of Sagittarius' reading today? What is the central theme of Sagittarius' reading today? Dreams. I have dreams. They're very passionate dreams full of love and excitement and glamour. I'm seeing a lot of glamour here, a lot of sensuality, but I see you dreaming. And she's looking towards the past, so you could be dreaming about the past, uh, a more prosperous time that was very glamorous and very passionate. It's like the ghosts of your past that you're dreaming about. Yeah, there's something very non-traditional here. It was a major life event. It could have been with a Taurus or an Aries. We have the Hierophant reverse. And it was something that just was untraditional. Unconventional. But yet very passionate. There was a lot of conflict there competition. You had a lot of competition. Sagittarius. Ooh. I see you releasing anxiety. You're coming out of anxiety. You're coming out of pain here. You're releasing that. Whatever was unconventional. I see someone spying on you or stalking you or this is like gossip like they could be gossiping about you I have the page of swords in the reverse so there's either some gossip or spying but I see you releasing pain it's a lot of swords so I see you dreaming about something that's unconventional, non-traditional, and you're releasing anxiety about it. Your, mind's no, your mind was spiraling in never-ending circles and it was keeping you up at night, but you're releasing that. And there's somebody here, the page of swords in reverse usually means spying, but maybe that's not what this is. It could also be like malicious gossip verbal abuse and you're releasing pain it's like you're healing I, I see someone who's healing this is healing healing from being spied on being stalked being gossiped about I see you healing There's a lot of like Gemini energy and there's major conflict here. Ooh. I see a loss of hope. There could have been an Aquarius as well. And I have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's a very slow moving energy that just is like poor financial decisions. Um, yeah, I see money here. There's a loss of money being spent in just weird ways. Materialism coming first. I see somebody being very overly materialistic. And more cards filled. Here. I see choices. There's choices here. I see you healing from like mean words, and I see choices. But you're blinded. You don't want to see. You're at a crossroads and you don't want to see where you need to go. 
I see heartbreak. I, I see you heartbroken. You're crying. There's heartbreak here. There's a lot of swords coming out. Either the queen of swords. So she speaks the truth. She's always fair. Like, she won't spare your feelings. She's very blunt in what she says. And sometimes she can be hurtful. Yeah, I see we have the um, Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So I see you letting go. You're no longer holding on to things. You're, you're letting go. Coming towards November. You feel like you've lost control. We have death in the reverse. So there's an obsession here. Things need to die, you haven't let die. This could be an Aries or a Scorpio. It's, it was very emotional. And then I see you entering November in your energy, in Sagittarius energy, in temperance. There is light at the end of the tunnel. There is a rainbow. This is you. You're the angel. There's healing. There's balancing. There's rebalancing. There's regrouping. It's like I have an Uno brow. <laughs> Sorry. I just, uh, I just saw myself. It's not. It was just how the shadow it looked like an Uno brow just now. But yeah, it ends on you. It ends in this light at the end of the tunnel. It was just a necessary life event. So I see that you're dreaming. That's the central theme, you're dreaming. And you're looking at the past at a more glamorous, romantic, passionate time that was very emotional. And it was unconventional, non-traditional. It could have been a long distance relationship. You broke the rules. Whatever it was, it broke the rules. And I see that you were having anxiety about this. You were having sleepless nights, but you have since released that. You could have actually dug into things a little bit deeper and spied like you you dug in deeper to the situation and you did some spying behavior and that caused you to release pain once you found out the truth i see you lost hope you lost hope in this situation from the past you finally gave it up and you put down your swords and you called stalemate on this and you had choices you were heartbroken this broke your heart because you had your heart set you had these in your dream this was your dream the, your big dream and you're heartbroken but it was necessary it caused you to be in that queen energy that influential energy that strong powerful energy even if you're a man the queen is a strong, powerful energy, and your communication style has increased. Your knowledge has increased. I see that you let go. You quit holding on. You felt like you were out of control and that you were obsessed with this. There was obsession. We have death in the reverse. Death is something that needs to go so something new can come in. Whenever it's in the reverse, there's a refusal to let go. You're holding on to it. Um, the death card is ruled by Scorpio. Scorpio is ruled by Mars, which is the god of war. And Mars also rules Aries. And Aries is the more passionate side. 
of Mars, or yeah, the more passionate, more energetic side, and it's also a fire sign like you. You're a fire sign. So there is an obsession here, and it was just this, this necessary life event. And it led you to come into your power. It led you to rebalance, to regroup, to temper yourself, to get into your energy, into Sagittarius energy. Don't give up on your dreams. Just learn how to make them more logical. You need more logic. You need more reason here. You need less passion, less aggression, less emotion. You need less emotion, less passion, less aggression. You need more logic and reason. And I know there's like hardly any earth here. And the earth that is here is in the reverse. So you need to be more stable, more grounded, more practical, more down to earth. You need to do some grounding exercises where you see yourself here on this physical plane instead of like up in the stars. I see you like up in the stars. Well, Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful October.